yeah. Look at that. They're basically ready to eat. So our harvest is that. Do you know what? Let's get a wide angle on this. Much better. It is Ellie's birthday. You can tell it's summer, can't you? Because I'm out here. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Alfie's Agriculture. We are here at the allotment and today is actually a very special day. It is Ellie's birthday. Ellie's not actually here today. She's actually uh, spending some time with her family as it is her birthday and um, it's only right. Um, so I'm just here on my own today while she's with her family and then we'll be spending time together later. But whilst I'm here, I thought since we're going away tomorrow for our Cornwall trip, which I spoke about in the last video, if you weren't, if you haven't seen that one, um, yeah, we're going on a road trip to Cornwall and we're planning on making a video out of it on a different channel. If you are interested in that, let me know and I'll, I'll post it once it's edited and everything. It's going to take me a while to edit. Um, but yeah, I thought whilst I'm here and have the time, I'm going to get my last tray of spring onions into one of the beds just so it can start growing whilst I'm away. Um, everything else is looking absolutely great at the allotment. Everything's growing perfectly fine other than the peppers and the corn. But we'll, <laughs> we're going to brush over that. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get the uh, spring onions in today. Um, so we'll go ahead and get ready for that. But also, when I just opened up my shed, I noticed something from my mother that um, she was here the other day. And it's one of the pea pods from the pea plants in my corn house. Um, she hasn't opened it up, so I thought, let's open it up and see the peas inside, shall we? So here we have the pea pod. Um, it's just been picked off, but it's not open. So I thought, let's peel it open and see what we've got inside. I don't actually know how you peel them. Is it like this from this part? Or do you just break the top open like a banana and then feel it? I'm going to do that. I'm going to... Well, I'm actually quite strong, you know. Quite kind of struggling. Oh, there we go. I got the back of it open, I think. Or the side. Here we go. Oh, there's like another skin on the inside. I have to peel that too. There we go. <gasps> We've got some peas. How many peas? Let's see. One pea. Two peas? <laughs> Three peas. <laughs> Three peas out of a pod. Surely not. I thought you can get like eight out of these. So our harvest is that. From that entire massive thing, we get that. It's not worth it, is it? <laughs> Let's be honest, it's just not worth it. Oh well. We live and we learn, don't we? We tried it. And they did succeed. They are doing well. You can't eat raw peas, can you? Can you? We can. But just probably not very nice. They do feel very hard. I'm not going to eat them. Sorry. Sorry, camera. I know you wanted me to. Don't lie. You wanted to see me to eat some raw peas. But it's not going to happen. I'm not doing it. Because I've got a nice dinner coming tonight and I don't want to ruin my appetite. <laughs> you can tell it's summer, can't you? Because I'm out here. T-shirt, shorts and Crocs. Come on. So anyway, let's go into the potting shed and get out the spring onions. Do you want to see my super cool spring onion tray? It's definitely the best one this year. Oh yeah. Look at that. They're basically ready to eat. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> um, and I don't know why. Barely any of the ones out of the back two rows. Only one of them actually, you know, grew into plants. Not a clue why, but anyway. We still got plenty here to plant in. So um, let's go plant them, shall we? So we got all of our spring onions planted just there, but that bed's all full of stuff. So I'm gonna plant them in this bed just here. All of that, that's weeds, so we can get rid of it. But honestly, I don't think I'll need to because this close end just here is pretty, pretty sparsely grown with weeds. So if we just get rid of them, that's enough space for them spring onions. So we'll just do that. Yippee! <laughs> Second for people, that was embarrassing. Okay, so first things first, get the gloves on. Do you know what? Let's get a wide angle on this. Much better. Sorry, sir, you do not have permission to be growing here. Very nice. Put it in that bed. Just gonna chuck all of them into the <laughs> next bed over because there's nothing growing in that part anyway. Pretty much good to go. Just a few on that side. Get rid of and we're good. Yeah, that's good. 
Right then, let's do this. Okay, so I've made a row here. And I'm gonna get some of these plants out of the cell tray and put them in. There you go, so there's our cell tray. So we're just gonna grab a cell, grab it by the stem, because that will hold it all together. Pop it in, like so. Grab the next one, I'm just gonna lay them all out, basically. Oh, I just killed one. Whoopsie! What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Done six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a few more. Probably need to do seven in each row. I'm going to do three rows. So I need to dig this row a little bit more. And get one more out. Like so. Pop that there. And that is seven in this row. So now I can brush the dirt back in to get these properly planted. Let's do that. Hold this up above the ground by the roots or by the stems and then just brush the dirt around it. There we go. That is the first row done. So now two more rows of seven and that'll be 21 spring onion cells which should have a couple spring onions each if they all grew. Well, I hope so. <laughs> there are also red ants in this bed. I'm not sure if red ants eat plants or not. I really hope not. Let me know if they're in the comments if you if you know if they do or not. Because I really hope they don't. But I'm sure we'll find out either the good way or the bad way. There you go. Second trench is dug. Trench? Row? I don't know. You know what I mean. Now we get the tray of spring onions, pop it over here for a minute, and we'll get out our seven cells. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kneel on the edge, grab the stems again, and just fill around it. And I'll consider that planted. I know what you may be thinking. Alfie, it is June. Why are you now planting <laughs> the spring onions? Um, if you think about it, I'm not planting them. I'm just relocating them to a bigger bed. They've already started growing. It's not like I'm growing them from a seed. Um, so I think they'll be all right. And I'm probably wrong. But hey, that's the whole point of trying things. You figure it out. Very nice. There you go, that's two rows. Now we can move on to the final row. Yippee. Sorry about that, the uh, phone overheated because it's a very sunny day. Um, so the last clip doesn't have any audio um, and I had to wait about half an hour for the phone to cool down. So whilst I was waiting for it to cool down, I've just watered all the spring onions that we've planted and then also gave all of these old ones a water as well. But they're looking absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, I can't complain at all. And we actually ran out of water so I had to go and fill up at the well with the pump. So that was eventful, but yeah. Now, at least these bad boys are going to be growing whilst I'm away in Cornwall. Hopefully, when I come back, they're going to be great. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there because I want to go and spend some time with my beautiful girlfriend, Ellie, for her birthday. So yeah, please comment down below, happy birthday for Ellie. Um, I'm sure she'll read them all and appreciate all the love from you guys. But as she always says, adios and deuces. Bye.